Hey guys, it's me, Dan again, and today I'm going to show you how to use a pet pad. So this is a pet pad. Uh, it's also known as a, a micro pet pad because it's used to withdraw small volumes in the microliter range. And then I'm going to walk you through the basics of a pet pad. So first of all, we'll look at here. Here is the volume display. It displays how much volume this pet pad will withdraw at this time. And if we look at here, here is a knob that, that allows you to change the volume. Uh, it's also the push button to operate the pet pad. And here is the, the fine tune adjustment knob to change the volume. And then if we go to the back of the pad pad, I will see one button that's here. Uh, this button is a, the tip ejector button. So if we look at the end of the pad pad, you'll see this metal part right here is the tip ejector and the tip goes onto the end of the pad pad. So I'm going to go over the, the basic features of the pad pad again in a close-up view. So here, you have the volume display. Right now it's sitting at uh, 0 050, 0, so uh, this is 50 microliters. And then if we look at the knob on the top here, this is for volume control. So if I turn it, we can change the volume. Either way, we can decrease the volume or we can increase the volume. So let's set it back to uh, 50 microliters. So if I want to go to uh, 50.1 microliters I shouldn't use this volume control knob anymore I'll be instead I'll be using this fine-tune knob here so again you can turn it either way so we'll set it to 50.1 like that so remember for a bigger volume change use the volume knob here for a uh, fine-tune adjustment you use the knob here so right now I'm going to show you how to eject a tip and how the ejector works. So here, this is the tip ejector button. Uh, when you want to eject the tip, all you have to do is press it down, like that. So let's see what's happening at the end of the pad pad. When you press down the ejector button, the ejector will move to the very end of the shaft, which will displace the tip, like that. So if we put on the tip right now, uh, when you press the ejector button, the ejector will move down and push off the tip. That's how ejector works. Now I'm going to show you how to put on a tip properly without damaging the pad pad. You should just press down the pad pad and twist. And now you have the tip. And then to eject the tip, all you have to do is press the tip ejection button, like that. Now you know all the, the basic parts of the pipette. I'm going to show you how to use this pipette to withdraw and dispense the solution using the push button. So if you press it down, you'll encounter the first stop. When you withdraw the solution, you only go down to the first stop. Uh, the first stop. But when you expel the solution, you have to go to the second stop all the way like that. So again, with thrust solution, you go to the first stop and you stop. When you expel the solution, you go to the second stop. So, so you, you press it to the first stop first, insert the tip into the solution, release the plunger, and then when you expel, you go to the first stop and then go to the second stop to expel everything. Let's do it again. You go to the first stop, insert the tip, withdraw the solution, and then you go to the second stop to expel everything. So this is how you use a pet pad. And pet pads, they come in many different sizes, but they all work the same way. See you guys next time.